Hi and welcome to NK Academy. This is Nandini and in this video I am going to discuss how to stop your child from nagging. Just for the information, this is the second video in the series Parenting Tips. In the first video of the series, I had discussed how to handle the anger of your teenagers. I am leaving the link in the description. You can watch the video. As a parent, we are often tortured by the nagging behavior of our children. Nagging is a learned behavior the children of any age can pick up. They continue to use this weapon frequently because probably once in a moment of weakness you would have succumbed to their nagging after they asked you sixth time or seventh time. The point to be noted here is Nagging worked for the child. The child achieved what he wanted. He wanted something. He nagged you. First few times you said no, but later on you caved into his continuous nagging and you listened to him. You provided him with what he wanted. So the child learned you can get anything done the way you want by nagging. The child understands the power of nagging and he uses it often. He has understood that if he keeps on nagging, you will definitely give him. And that's how they use it as a strong weapon against you. And you keep getting tortured again and again by the nagging behavior of the child. You want to stop it, but many of the parents do not know how to do that. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can stop your child from nagging. Dear parents, the good news is, like any other behavior, nagging too can be unlearned. The solution is very simple. It takes only three words, asked and answered. Asked and answered. Now, what's this? That's what I'm going to explain to you. This mantra works in kids as young as 2 or 3 all the way through their teens. Let's see how it works. Your 6 year old Kiara insists to take your cell phone and watch your favorite videos while taking her dinner and gets no for an answer. Chances are she will ask you the same thing one more time. This time probably with a please instead of repeating your answer no or giving her a long lecture follow these steps step one ask have you heard of asked and answered she will probably say no step two ask her did you ask me a question about watching videos while taking dinner she'll say yes step three did I answer it? She'll probably say, yes, but please. Step 4. Ask her, do I look like a mom or dad who will change her or his mind if you ask me again and again? Chances are, Kiara will walk away frustrated, disgruntled and probably she will stop asking. Step 5. If Kiara doesn't stop, and asks you again simply say asked and answered no other words are necessary now repeat this technique often whenever your child nags you you repeat the technique once this technique is established these are the only words you need to say to stop her nagging requests this works well with two-year-old child or 19-year-old teenager. Being consistent is the key word. Once you decide to use asked and answered technique, don't cave in even if your child makes an unnecessary demand and the number of time. If nagging continues even after you have responded, just walk away from there. Once your child observes, that you don't even engage in the discussion, he will learn that nagging is not effective behavior to achieve their goals. Eventually, children will stop nagging. 
This is a time tested technique. Try it out. Another important point is both the parents must work as a team. Once decided, both the parents, including grandparents or aunts, shouldn't cave in to the child's nagging. They too must follow asked and answered technique. And slowly you'll find your child realizes that nagging is not going to help him or her in any way and he'll stop nagging you. That's all for the video today. In the next video, I'm going to discuss another parenting tip with you.